hey beautiful people how are you doing today it's your favorite mommy vlogger Deka Dara from Abuja mom so if you're new to my channel I'm actually a mom of two living in Abuja Nigeria and I'm also the number one this kind mom in the world in Africa in Nigeria in Abuja you know everywhere you go like I'm the number one nobody can even drag it with me so this is the best time to subscribe if you haven't already and this is the best time to click on the bell button to get you notified so whenever I post new videos you'll be the first to get it don't forget to share on your insta story and don't forget to follow me on Instagram without wasting much of your time I'm going to be getting into this video so guys getting pregnant for me wasn't as easy as you know how Nigerian movies or natural like our natural Nigerian mentality where you just get married nine months time like even flavor sang you know in nine months time we will come visiting with a boy and girl and a boy jima Ada, ada. you know what i will be dancing during your traditional marriage you'll be whining to this song and be hoping that in nine months time people will come visiting because you had twins so it doesn't just enter like that we all know so it's not even as if it's not nigerian this is this is real talk this is not nigerian film levels you know nigerian film can make things look easy like somebody will just give birth somebody just get married give birth here 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 police nigerian film now so anyway so when i got married i got married while i was in school i can remember my school then they didn't allow people to be pregnant when you're married so it's not even as if out of wedlock you're allegedly married but you cannot get pregnant so i didn't even think about it you know i was making sure i was taking contraceptives and all that i didn't even want to yes say anything made me not to graduate or i would stay one year or two years because they were actually suspending people that were getting pregnant but something I noticed actually, I think, okay, the first time I ever really put my mind, I can't remember if I noticed it before, there was one that I was bat we used to bat together in school then. I was batting with one of my friends, and no, 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 we're waiting for our turn to bat. So when we got into the bathroom, she was, I was tying my towel, and she was like, Decker, see, you're stained. And I was like, Jesus, Jesus, I was so scared, you know. And I didn't really do anything about it because I was in school. I didn't even want to create alarm for my life, for myself. I didn't want to just make myself uncomfortable. So fast forward to when I now went, came back to Abuja, you know, I was not staying with my hobby. I noticed I wasn't taking in, I wasn't taking in. Jesus, I was now scared. Guys, I was, I used to cry. I started crying, crying. I can remember one of my friends then telling me that, Deka, you've not even been married for up to one year. Or, oh, Abby, and you're crying like this. Imagine those women that, that used to marry for like, 10 years no child what will not happen to them you see why when people do some kind of things like when people go to go and you know do all those things to have children maybe running from one church to the other you see why they do it because you're already you're just one year old you're crying as if you've died you know calm down you know she's encouraging me i'm not saying anybody should go and do things so to get pregnant or run from pillar to post that's not what i'm saying in this video you know so i was like i i always thought about it but still Guy, there's no way I will not cry. Like, I'm a crier. I, I don't, let me know in the comment section if you're a crier like me. I'm very emotional. I use cry to react to many things. If I'm happy, I cry. If I'm sad, I cry. If I'm hyper, I cry. Like, I'm a crier, okay? Ha, <sighs> guys, I was so worried, 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 worried. Milk was coming out of my boobs. Like, I can just stay and my boobs will be wet. My brow will be wet. My clothes will be wet. Something comes out of my clothes. You know, I was getting worried, but because like she said, I've not been married for one year, for even up to one year, and I'm already scared. But in my guts, I knew that there was something wrong. So guys, this is just a day that if you feel like there was something, there is something wrong with you, don't even wait. Go and meet doctor. And I know some doctors are very annoying. They'll start telling you, ah uh ah -uh, ah uh ah. -uh. My sister. Don't worry. Let me continue my gist. So finally, finally, Hobina said, okay, Hobina agreed because I was not disturbing him. I was like, you know. People are now making comments like you know because i was really young people expected that the younger you are the sh like sharp sharp even like even if the husband does blow breeze or you're supposed to be like pregnant so people were like asking me maybe in good faith but my in-laws never really my in law i'm going to be answering some questions because i'm like i'm going to correlate this gist that be 
this is just, I'm going to be linking into the questions I got actually on Instagram so on Instagram I posted on the 25th I was like so guys I didn't take him for a while after I got married and I found out I had small small issues so I'll be doing a video on what we did PS um PS be married for almost eight years and Gina is five so if you have any infertility questions please drop I'll try to answer the ones I can while sharing my story so that's what I'm actually doing today I'm going to be like that's what I'm doing right now giving people all the tea what I did where I went to you know things we didn't even did guys we didn't do any dish dish kind things we didn't go to any church not saying that churches are bad churches are good I'm a Christian so I'm not saying that, but we didn't, you know, put ourselves in that way. Like, hey, I never thought of it like juju. You know, some people, some of us, any little thing that happened to us is jujuism, you know. I can remember growing up in Portacot, cats were so scared of cats. Like, I, people may not believe that cats were like juju things, bats were like juju things. I can remember when I was even pregnant for Gina, there was only cats was in my compound. Somehow, if I go to the room, the cat will follow me and go to the room and be meowing. If I go to the kitchen side, it will follow me. I was so scared. I called my hubby. I was crying. I was like, they've sent somebody to come and kill me, to come and kill my baby. My husband was like, really? And do you know the funny thing? My husband, they actually grew up with cats in their house. Like a lot, up to like 10, 20 cats, according to him. They used to sleep with cats in, in their area. If somebody sees a cat, they'll come and tell them, oh yeah, come and carry your cat. Too. That's how much they had cats in their house. So my was like... Cats are not even like you know, but me, I was looking at it like, nope, like, even though you didn't grow you, you, you grew up with cats, you don't know that cats they used cat for you and all that. But over the years, I've realized that people that it doesn't work that way, you don't just see animal and just assume that it's demonic or it's jujuism. Fast forward to my gist back, so hope you finally agreed that we should go to the hospital, guys. <laughs> When I got to the hospital, the doctor asked me a question. Do you take contraceptives? Do you do this? He was just asking me lots of questions. How long? How long have people been married? How many years have you guys stayed together? Like, stayed together, not married, not, not, not really married. He was asking me how many years do you guys, have you guys lived together? Together, not traveling, traveling, you know, because I was going to school, so I was always, you know, traveling back to Spotacourt. I was shuttling between Spotacourt and Abuja, so I wasn't always in my boo. So it was like, how many years and all that? I was like, we've not even stayed up to like a full year, but we've been married for let me say a year plus or two years. I can't remember. And then I said, ah, it doesn't work like that, that you have to really stay with your husband for a long time, and you guys have to be having sex, like well without protection without taking anything that's how you now judge whether you're actually having issues and all that so you know i was really young that time i was so nervous i was like i don't want to be saying so many things i don't want to be giving him i was so shy you know so my husband i told him that hey but there's something else that there is smell coming out of my boobs and all that and all that he was like okay if that's the if that's another thing okay then go and do this test i think it's called prolactin test this video is not to say go and do any test please go to your doctor before you do any test so you know i said i should go to the doctor i sorry i should go and do prolactin test and i went to do it guys it's not even cheap i know when to do it he now advised me just told me i should pray that prayer is the master key you know believe in god don't just you, they do their own best but it's god ultimately that will just you know work everything out and all that he just advised me then he told me i should be taking i should also be taking folic acid so me i was always praying i was always worried i was always crying like i was always scared guys i was always always scared but i was taking the thing you know taking it praying in my heart i'll be like god what have i done to you what like what is it only me not only me why is it my own case now i was like i never even start i see how young i am i'm already having this kind of issue ah you know i was so scared but i was taking it i was praying sometimes i'll be like i'm sorry i'm sorry for talking to you like that forgive me please i just want to get pregnant please i'm so I, like <clears throat> god suffered in my hand i wouldn't like like no no i'll be blaming him for all my problems the next thing i'm be i'm begging him please i'm sorry it's not me that was talking it's devil that was using me i will be begging him you know every day and i bought plenty strips oh boy like even when i was buying these strips like the pharmacy they were looking at me like I don't understand. They're using it for something. You know, Nigerians can't be judged. They don't just sell what they came to come and sell. They'll just be eyeing you. I bought plenty strips. Guys, every day I was checking. 
every day I was checking. Every day I wake up, I check. Every day I wake up, I check. Then I'll not be like, God, I'll not check for two weeks. I'll not check for two. Let me hold myself. I will not check for two. And guys, hmm. Next thing you see me, I'll go and check. <laughs> I'll, I'll not check. I'll not check. I'll go and check. Guys, that's how one day, one Sunday morning, I didn't feel like going to the, I didn't feel like going to church. Hobby was like, he's going. So I was like, no problem, you can go. So immediately Hobby left. I was just, in my mind, I was just saying, please, don't go. Let me just go and check. Because he was not like, being upset. Anytime he sees me checking, he'll be like, calm down now. Why are you over checking? Calm down. Like, you're not even making it over annoying now. In my mind, I'll be like, it's not you that it's happening to now. Because he, next thing that they will say, I cannot take in. You, I, you, nobody looks at a man that... A man cannot take him. It's me they will be blaming for even if you see that he's a problem. Like I was really judging him that time. So I was waiting for him to go out. He was just wasting time. Not be doing all this up and down, unnecessary up and down movements. I was like, man, I'm like, go now, go now. Immediately he just left. I just ran to the toilet. Like he just went out of the house to you know, you know, to go and warm his car and start going. I just went to the toilet. I will be in a container. I now use one of the strips now put inside. Guys, like my heart caught. My heart caught, my heart caught like jeez, jeez, jeez. I was like, jeez. I don't call him. He was just driving, like just driving. I could still see him. I just called him, baby, I'm pregnant, baby, I'm pregnant, baby, I'm pregnant, baby, I'm pregnant. Baby, I'm pregnant. He was not screaming. He was like, Jesus, Jesus. Now, okay, he's coming. Let him go to church and go and pray. And let him go and thank God. He's coming back. He's coming back, guys. Like, you know, oh, Jesus, I can't even forget that day. And that's how. He went and came back and after we were so happy we we're so happy we we're so 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 happy then fast forward to like in between the week on wednesday or month i can't remember, like either the next day or the next two days we now went to go and do like a proper blood test proper blood test i was just feeling like you know and guys you know how life is when you're pregnant and you don't know somehow you don't feel anything you know you'll be feeling normal the day you just find that you're pregnant, hey, you start vomiting, all the things start doing you, even if somebody just look at you, you start having stomach pain, you start having headache, you start shaking, like, God, but I was super excited, and there's something that that happened that really made me know that, guys, like, people that don't have kids, and they're married, they're going through it, was one period that someone actually, someone very close to me, actually asked me, I think I was five months pregnant, because the way my body is, I have this side you know so when i'm pregnant my stomach is full it's not like long it's full so like i can be like five months pregnant and you don't know i'm pregnant you know she now asked me you don't think that maybe i have big stomach like small big stomach so when for an event she was not like i was one of my friends she was not like ah when will you get pregnant ah, and when will you give us child you know i don't think she was saying it from a bad place but I can just imagine if I was actually not pregnant, I would have taken it like I would have cr me. Hey, hey! My day would just spoil that day. Like that boy didn't be anniversary we went for. I wouldn't have even enjoyed it. I would have stayed crying there and spoiled the mood for everybody. So my friend that was with her told her, "Can't you see she's pregnant? Because she's really close to me. So, and you a woman in her mind, she assumed like you a woman, and you're asking her, and you're not looking at her that she's pregnant. And I was wearing all these gowns that are like free, so you can't really tell." So she's like, why can't you see she's pregnant? You know, I say, oh, are you serious? Congrats! You know, but this is just to say that we have to really be sensitive. Just like, I always talk about sometimes mind your business. I know that we bring out our lives. We People people bring out their lives for people to see. I know, I'm not arguing that, but sometimes just cool down. Like, I always say it's cool down, calm down. Because some people are going through it. You know, you see somebody, don't be quick to like, enter the person except you can do it slow but you can take it slow not that you just say you know go carry belly so guys hope you actually enjoyed this my little sweets in my mind i feel like i i i, I give you i know how to juice like i make the juice like very very sweet i used to add jarra salt pepper on top you know so if you actually enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section and if you have your own to share if you're okay to share it though nobody's forcing you please leave in the comment section for all of us to read we'll be so glad to read it like i want to read all of us our experiences i love you guys so much for watching don't forget to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share on your insta story don't forget to 
click on the bell button to get you notified so whenever i post new videos you'll be the first to get it and don't forget to show me love follow me on instagram diary of an abuja mom and i love you guys so much for watching until my next video salute